welcome to another eBusiness Boss tutorial. Today I am going to be revealing all uh, and show you exactly how we carry out our keyword research for Amazon. So if you're looking for an Amazon keyword research tutorial, you're in the right place. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. Using this method you're going to be able to build out your own master keyword spreadsheet and from there you can make sure that you're fully optimized for every single keyword that is going to make you sales. So, right, let's start over on Amazon.com. Obviously this method works for any Amazon marketplace you're in. I'm just using .com today for the example. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So we're on Amazon.com. I've had a little think about this beforehand and the example I'm gonna show you today is a random product. Uh, we don't sell them, but it's just for a set of arthritis gloves. So. I want to show you guys, if I was thinking about selling uh, this product for myself, what exactly I'd, I would do in terms of keyword research. So, first of all, you need to head over to your Amazon Marketplace. So, you'll see that there's some extra data here being sort of shown on the screen that you might not have, and that's because I'm using the Helium 10 uh, Chrome extension, which is free. I'll leave a link in the description for you to download, but it allows you to see all this information. Um, and pull the ASIN, which um, yeah, is, is super, super important. So what we want to do is find three of the best performing competitors for this product. So as usual, normally we, we will ignore the sponsored um, listings here and we'll go down to what's position rank one, two and three uh, for this keyword, which is arthritis gloves. Um, but yeah, you might have to search a few different keywords, just find the listings that are performing the best, you know, with the lowest rank um, that are making the most sales. So yeah, the the main one I have sort of, we'll start with here is this one. So these guys, copper compression, arthritis gloves. Um, you could head onto the listing. I'm just going to copy and paste the ASIN from here, um, but you could go onto the listing and pull it that way. And then we head over to Helium 10, which is the tool I'm going to be showing you guys how to use in this video. Um, I use it, um, and yeah, as sort of seven figure Amazon sellers, we have to keep up with everyone. So we want to be using every single tool to our advantage. Helium 10 is awesome, we use it all the time. So, anyway, um, head over to Helium 10, and you'll see that they've got a tool called Cerebro. Um, so, if you click that, you'll, you'll be shown here. Now, you want to put the product ASIN into the top and ask it to get keywords so make sure you've got the right marketplace now I've already done this one so we'll load from history and yeah what I've done is actually I've, I've ran through a lot of this so that we don't just spend ages uh, me doing all the sort of tasks that take ages in this process I've, I've pre-prepared it for you guys so that you can see uh, nice and easily sort of how we do it so the whole idea here is we're building a master spreadsheet a master keyword spreadsheet and you'll see from Helium 10 um, that basically there's all this data here so this is showing us where this competitor ranks for and where they're generating their sales so the most important columns for us here is search volume um, so and organic rank which is during Helium 10's recent analysis it's showing where they rank um, for, for the said keyword so what we're interested in is super relevant high traffic search terms that are going to bring us sales to our product so you can see here this listing um, is position one for all of these keywords um, you can see on the right hand side position one so we can see where they're getting all their sales arthritis gloves their Amazon choice for that's huge 13,000 searches a month that's probably the best keyword anyway so next up you will want to export this data so export it whatever format you like I use Excel so like I said, I've already done this. Um, and this is the master keyword spreadsheet that, I, that that we use, basically. It works really well for us. So along the bottom here, we want to pull this data from Cerebro, Cerebro uh, for the top three competitors. So for copper compression, uh, I'm going to load, like you see, I've, I've copied and pasted the data uh, into here. So do that uh, for competitor one two and three as you'll see I haven't done these um, competitor two and three because it's just to show you guys the example um, so next up um, 
what we want to do is use another tool uh, for within Helium 10's sort of platform. So this is called Magnet, and it's another really useful tool. And what I would do here is put my best keyword into the search bar here, um, and that would probably be arthritis gloves. Um, so arthritis. Gloves. Um, select your marketplace. Click search. Now we've already done this, so you do the same thing. Export the data. Uh, put it into your spreadsheet, and yeah, we will. You'll see that I've just done the same thing. So I've copied all of this data into this tab uh, on the spreadsheet. So this is more just keywords that are generated uh, off the back of, of your best keyword. So put your best keyword into Magnet. Uh, and let Helium 10 do the work. They'll generate all of these search terms. Uh, we've got all the same data points to look at here. Um, the whole point of this is we are collecting relevant sales data from the people that are generating the sales currently. So this information is obviously golden for us. We want to know which keywords we need to be optimized for. And yeah, I, 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 we just like to make use of all of the space possible on Amazon. And I think you guys should do the same. Um, so yeah. Basically, once you've done that, copy and paste each of these tabs, one, two, three, four, um, and copy and paste them individually into a new tab called your master keyword list, or whatever you want to call it. Now, um, like I said, I've already done this uh, just to speed it up for you, but what you want to do is copy each of those tabs in, remove any duplicates, because there will definitely be duplicates. A lot of your competitors are ranking for the same keyword. We're interested in you know only using one keyword once basically um, so yeah remove any duplicates tidy up your list this will take time but I promise you it will be worth it um, so from here this is where the the magic happens should we say um, you'll need to sort your data um, now you'll see here there's some colors and I grade keywords uh, on, on a basis of A B and C so A is going to be my best keywords B are you know good keywords and C are sort of the outsiders but ones that are still relevant ones that I'd still like to index and rank for so I'll then color code it I'll work my way through this list um, and yeah basically uh, all of the ones you can see in green these are my primary keywords so after I've sort of made my way um, sorted everything um, gone through the whole list basically we want to end up with about between two and 300 keywords um, as a rough guide. So then you can sort um, by all the ones that you've highlighted as relevant. And this is, you know, there's only 40, uh, there's only a few keywords here, um, 18. So yeah, obviously you'll, you'll want probably two, three, maybe 400 keywords. Um, but this way you can see which t which keywords you want to target and which ones that you, you should be making a priority so all of these ones in green they're probably going to go in you know the places that we value the most so based on research and what other sellers say and, and basically testing this over time um, it looks as though Amazon prioritize keywords that are in your title your back end um, if you're in the US uh, another really important place is the subject matter um, so yeah, we don't have that yet in Europe, but that's an important place to put keywords if you're in the US. Your bullet points are very important uh, and your description, but basically we prioritize our keywords and spread our best ones through the title and bullet points uh, and the back end. So yeah, that, that's basically how we do it. And like I say, it will take some time, um, but it's, it's just a fantastic way of organizing your keywords and basically you know getting the best out of um, tools so there are other tools out there we use helium 10 because they just have so many tools um, and yeah we use it every day so it's it's worth the money for us um, yeah so that's how we do it guys if you're interested in taking up helium 10 um, I have got some codes for you they will be affiliate codes so if you go ahead and use them uh, I'll make a commission uh, no additional cost to you but so that you're aware of that um, if you can use eboss 10 to get 10% off every month as long as you use it or eboss 50 which will give you the first month half price so if you're just thinking oh I think I could actually do a load of this within a month then just 
get it for a month, get it half price, um, do what you need to do, and then if you don't need it anymore, you can just you know close your subscription, and you've got a load of value half price basically. Um, so I hope you guys have found that useful. Um, we're trying to make our videos more and more useful. So any sort of feedback on this video, please leave a comment below. If you think it was rubbish, just say, Nick, come on, what's going on? Uh, it was rubbish. Um, no, it, all feedback's appreciated. And yeah, we just want to be bringing you guys value. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this video if you found it useful. We appreciate every one of you. There'll be more from us again very soon. Thanks for watching, guys.